When your sister-in-law needs a couple benches for her entryway, it's pretty exciting to be able to help her out with that. And benches make great presents. So I set out to create two beautiful X-leg benches for my sister-in-law. I took her to the lumber yard and let her pick out some hardwood for the benches. Now these could be made out of any wood, but she chose a beautiful hickory board. And um, this is the first time I've ever worked with hickory. I've been told that it is a very hard wood. And so I tried to just take a few more precautions while putting together these benches. But it's really great because the actual construction and design of the benches is so simple that it allowed me to kind of use a new wood, which was really fun to work with. So to cut down the table, or sorry, the bench tops, I just relied on my circular saw on a piece of two inch uh, rigid foam and this allows the entire piece of board to be fully supported and with this extra hard wood the hickory it's not going to bend or pinch my blade as I'm cutting and also because the wood is so hard it's also very very heavy and that was a little harder for me to manage on my table saw. After I had the bench top boards cut, I ran them through the planer just to clean them up a tiny bit. And the sides were actually not cutting down on the top to give it a little more of a rustic look. Then it was time to create the boards I needed for the legs of the bench. And this I cut to a standard one by four size using the hickory boards that I got from the lumber yard. So if you do not have the ability to mill down your own boards, you can definitely still make these X benches because the standard lumber sizes are listed on the build plans on my blog. The X leg of the bench are super easy to make. It requires four pieces of one by four cut at an angle and the most important thing is to make a stop so that all pieces of the legs are cut at the exact same size and that will ensure that you have a nice sturdy leg for your bench and once i had all of my leg pieces cut the next most important part was to make sure that when i assembled them it was also perfectly even between the two x's to make sure that i didn't have a wobbly bench and the best way to do that i discovered was with a simple jig now this jig is just some scraps of plywood but you could also use scraps of anything that you have lying around in your shop and i just attached two pieces to the top of a base piece at the width needed for the base of my X. And that ensured that when I put everything together, both legs were exactly the same. To attach the bench top to the legs, I didn't want any visible screws. So I'm actually using dowel pins to attach it. And so before creating the X for my legs, I needed to use my self-centering doweling jig to add two dowel holes to the top of each leg. And now it's time to put this jig to use. And it was super easy. I clamped the jig to my workspace and then I placed each of the legs inside of the jig so that the corners were pressed as far into the edges as possible. And I drew some lines to indicate where I would be adding my wood glue. And so I could make sure I didn't have wood glue all over the legs. Then it's just as easy as attaching the two pieces with a screw and I'm covering the screw holes with dowels. So I first started by drilling a hole for my dowel and then once that was done, I put the screw into that hole and secured it. And then I also flipped it over and added two more screws on the other side. And this just gave a lot of support to those X's. So I do not have to worry about them going anywhere. Then I filled both, all of my screw holes with a dowel and glued that in place and flush cut it with a trim saw and gave it a nice sanding. Now I did sand all of my boards before creating the X because that X is a little bit of a pain to sand around. So all it required was a little top sanding and, and then my legs were all done and ready to go. With both legs assembled, it was time to attach it to my table, or sorry, my bench top. And to do this, I used some little um, dowel center points that came with my doweling jig. And so I was able to press those into the dowel holes, line up where the 
um, foot was going to go, press it in, and that gave me a center point of where to put my dowel hole. Um, I do not have a drill press currently, but I have um, a kind of a handheld drill centering jig that is allows me to create the hole. It just keeps it nice and straight, which is most important for the dowel jet, the dowels so that my legs are attached straight as well. After the first two holes were done, I attached the center points to the other holes because I only had two center points I was working with in the size of dowels. And then I repeated the process until I had all four holes drilled. Always do a dry fit first before trying to attach everything with glue. And then I was ready to glue it together. Now, if you don't have a doweling jig um, and don't want to add it to your shop, another option would be to use like a figure eight fastener. Those are attached to the top of the legs and then to the underside of the bench. And that could be another option. I love how just streamlined the dowel worked with these X legs. I mean, it's such a simple design for this bench that I really love that the dowel is completely hidden and the beautiful hickory wood can really shine through. And once the glue on my legs was fully dry, I was able to flip them over and I just love how simple and beautiful these X leg benches turned out. It really allowed that hickory wood to be the star of the show and they look absolutely amazing in my sister-in-law's entryway. She has styled them so beautiful and I am so happy to have been able to help her with this really fun home project. So if you have any questions, definitely leave me a comment and you can also go to housefullofhandmade.com where I have uh, more details and the complete build plans for this project. And if you liked this video, definitely hit subscribe and hit that like button and stay tuned for more fun DIYs for the home.